Can this tiny ESP32 KAM in a smartphone be used for drone FPV? There are two kinds of FPV, analog, which has low delay but poor quality, and digital, which looks better but usually has higher delay. The ESP32 KAM is digital, so it gives decent video but with some lag. Out of the box, it works fine, but only about 50 to 100 meters in open field. I tested ESP32's new long-range protocol called ESP now, but it chopped video into tiny packets for its limited packet size of 250 bytes. So the feed was choppy, low res, and delayed due to the use's more processing power required for addition process. Then I switched to Wi-Fi DSS mode, fixed channels, max TX power, and limited bandwidth to one megabit per second. The range improved a lot. The ESP32 cam was getting hot. Note that the ESP32 will make a cricket sound it's due to the max TX power. To further more increase the range, I used an antenna, and to decrease the temperature, I used an aluminum heatsink. I was able to get 100 to 300 meters, but the video was stutters on longer range. So it's not safe for drones, but for a simple FPV car or short range project, it works surprisingly well. Watch full video that includes all the details and where to download the code. Subscribe for more content like this.